father of office hysteroscopy, Professor Stefano Betocchi, and the pioneer in medical laser usage in office hysteroscopy, Professor Sergio Hemovic, was special guest in a two-day workshop which took place in Nadezhda Hospital. More than 30 medical specialists arrived from different countries such as Israel, Kosovo, Poland and Montenegro to meet and learn from the best and find more information about the new trends in office hysteroscopy. The first day was dedicated to the presentations and discussions. Professor Hlimovic presented in front of the audience the story of development of hysteroscopic surgery and devices. From the very first hysteroscope made in 1869 to the first time when Professor Stefano Betocchi made a big historical step in endoscopic gynecological surgery and minimally invasive surgery. He talked about what is new in surgical hysteroscopy during the last few years, how the approach of thinking out of the box helps him developing an enucleation technique and more about his next professional challenges. The next one is, it's not my only professional, it's my own professional, but I think from the community of the hysteroscopists, we would like to bring hysteroscopy to all the countries, because right now with, it looks like only uh, countries with economical resources they can afford having high level of hysteroscopy and would like everyone to use hysteroscopy. That's one of our targets. And the second target, uh, we believe that hysteroscopy must be a procedure, a diagnostic procedure in the hand of all the gynecologists, not only hysteroscopy. So we want to give skills to all the gynecologists to doing in their own practice as part of the diagnostic procedure, also in hysteroscopy. I think the, the leading, leading country today, uh, especially in office hysteroscopy procedures, not doing in, in OR, in operating room, uh, office hysteroscopy without anesthesia, it's uh, Spain. It started, everything started 25 years ago in Italy, but right now I don't think there is any hospital, university hospital in Spain that they don't perform office hysteroscopy. Hlimovic, on the other hand, was focused mainly to the pain management of office hysteroscopy. The last topic of his lecture was the problem that may occur during the hysteroscopy procedure. During the second part of his lecture, Hlimovic spoke about congenital anomalies, intrauterine adhesions and the connection between hysteroscopy and art. He is also hosted a short quiz game, entertaining not only the participants but all the audience. After the break, the rest of the lecture's day was taken by Professor Betoki. In his presentation, he noticed that hysteroscopy doesn't depend mainly on the capacity of the person making the procedure. According to him, after a proper theoretic and practical training, every medic should be able to do such mini-invasive procedures. It took more than 20 years of my life to promote and to let understand people that this is the way uh, to do. And fortunately, at least in Europe, uh, or around Europe, this is becoming the reality like a standard procedure. But ultrasound was considered in the past like competitor or enemy of hysteroscopy. Oh, you have to do ultrasound and ultrasound, it's better, or can do the same thing of hysteroscopy. Today, we realize that uh, there are no more enemies and we, are, uh, we go in symbiosis. So hysteroscopy support uh, ultrasound and ultrasound support uh, hysteroscopy. This is, for example, the reason why in November, in uh, our place in Bari, in Italy, we will do the first meeting, the first congress, international, on hysteroscopy the ultrasound and the subtitle is not not enemy but friends if the people ask for my presence i'm always happy to share my knowledge with anybody it's the first time in this institution very nice i have to say you uh, to tell you very nice place and uh, i hope will not be the last one here in this place and not the last one in sofia Moreover, he went into details about the basics of office hysteroscopy methodology and talked about the usage of hysteroscopy for treating myomas. On the second day of the workshop, Professor Betoki made a masterclass by doing demonstrative hysteroscopic operations in difficult cases like T-shaped uterus, uterine septum, ismucele, etc. Professor Hlimovic also made some hysteroscopic operations with medical laser. The event ended with awarding of special certificates. I've been in many hospitals around the world. I do surgery in many hospitals, they invite me from many places, but this is an amazing place. I like it very much.